Stefano Rotelli is a legend, no question. Knowledge, experience. He's a really true champion. Lui, il est vraiment maturité. Et pour moi, il a rien perdu de ce qu'il avait avant. Well, that is always a special place for me to come back uh, racing. Uh, it's been my uh, first one of my favorite circuits, and it's still uh, nowadays. And also, it was my first international win uh, out of France back in '96 with the legend Porsche 911 Turbo. It was in GT1, and it was uh, with uh, Conrad Motorsport, and uh, I was driving and partner with uh, legend Bob Bolek, which. Uh, was really the, the key point for me of my career because it really teach me how to drive, uh, how to uh, approach the endurance racing. At the time it was BPR championship. It was already like a, a long distance race, it was 1,000 km here. Plenty of reason to make mistakes when you see this uh, crazy circuit. And uh, we won with uh, Franz Conrad and uh, Bob, the three of us. My passion came from uh, my dad. He was a uh, uh, hill climb racing. Was uh, as a kid was really the, the key point, and uh, of course, uh, racing in uh, GT cars and sports cars was uh, my goal. He was uh, really in love with motor racing. Went to Le Mans as a spectator, and a uh, few years later, he, I had the chance to race there and uh, to see my dad uh, watching the race. So it was really, really the, the turning point for me. It is really important to be back and I want to say thanks to uh, Santeloc, uh, our team. But at the same time, I was a big fan watching the race in Monza. It was a very uh, special experience to not be there. But it was an uh, interesting race uh, to watch. This also showed the love. Uh, I'm still uh, very happy to be uh, part of it. And, um, you know, I had a big crash uh, last summer in uh, Spa 24 Hours. Uh, and I think I have a good star above me and I'm happy to be in uh, good shape and uh, be back in the race car uh, this weekend, that's very important. Being next to a very young driver, first of all, it's reminded me a lot what I learned when I was uh, younger as well at the time. Uh, next to uh, people like Yannick Dalmas or Bob Wolek, they really teach me the, the approach of the racing and uh, I do the same now. I mean, it's been now many years I do it from uh, my old time at Porsche with uh, Mark Lee, for instance, or Roman Dumas and also Audi time. We need Steve Nart is also a, a good step because uh, he has a great potential, um, but uh, sometimes you need next to you the expertise of the championship. Not only how to go fast in this particular corner, but also the, 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 the whole picture of the, the championship and of the race weekend. And I'm thinking it's very good to transmit. I'm very happy to uh, share my knowledge. Maybe as, as important it is as it was to win races in the past, uh, I'm still, of course, uh, think and want to win races, but for me, uh, sharing the experience is important because you don't keep it for yourself. At the end, uh, you just hope he will be faster than you. That's mean you are doing a good job. Uh, it's a long time ago. Uh, I race uh, with Stefan against Stefan for a long time, but we start on 2002. And then uh, 2003, we did a really strong season. We, with the strong fighting, always fair and we enjoy a lot our competition was was a really a great memory and then we become a really friend and then yeah it's a, already a long time ago but every every time when we see each other on track we are always happy Stefan Otelli is a special person and when i raced with him 2012 uh, where i was actually let's say pretty young in this time it was a real pleasure for me to do it because he is such a professional driver and I was able and even my teammate Christopher Mies in this time to learn so much from him and he even you know if a driver is enjoying it to help another one I mean this is like the best thing what you actually can achieve and at the end of this year it was 2012 we did win the La Porte GT Endurance. You don't win Le Mans you don't win the Spa 24 hours if you know good and that Spa 24 hour win came from a car in effectively the, the lesser class for the less powerful machinery, but he's a Porsche Super Cup champion. And he's been a mainstay of GT racing from the very early days of racing Porsches, the BPR series, and then the FIA GT championship. And every season he finds something to race. He's hugely competitive and he's a great guy 
to have in the paddock because even if the day isn't going brilliantly, because he loves racing, there's always a smile. Of course there's frustration if it's a bad result, but there's always a smile, there's always a word for the media and to, to talk to people. And teams know that not only is he a great guy as a person, he's great for the experience that he brings and how he can work with the young drivers and help them to develop and how he, he can also help a team get the best out of its car. So having Stefan Ortelli on a GT grid works for everybody. Moi j'aime beaucoup Stéphane parce qu'on se connaît de longue date, du car, de plein de choses il y a très très longtemps, donc on n'est plus tout jeune ni lui ni moi. L'année dernière, au mois de septembre, déjà on a commencé à en discuter, où on avait un projet en commun. On a pris la décision, lui et moi, d'essayer de monter quelque chose. Il a une qualité, c'est qu'il sait fédérer, énormément fédérer les gens avec lui, derrière lui, pour lui. Et donc ça c'est un avantage que beaucoup de pilotes n'ont pas, et qui aujourd'hui, avec le fur et à mesure de tout ce qu'il a fait avant, aussi bien Porsche, Le Mans et ainsi de suite, tous les pilotes qu'il connaît, ça fait qu'il a pris le meilleur de tous ces gens-là, et qu'il s'est donné le maximum de soi-même pour gagner une course, que ça il l'a en lui et il ne le perdra jamais. Les professionnels, sur la piste, c'est un compétiteur, et c'est un compétiteur qui utilisera tout ce qu'il faut, dans l'honnêteté et dans la manière de faire, pour gagner des courses. Donc ça c'est sûr et certain. Donc, il sait que son coéquipier, comme Nils, c'est très important, parce qu'on ne fait pas de course tout seul, donc par rapport à ça, on a fait les choses ensemble. So Blancpain GT Racing is always a lot of action and a lot of good souvenir for me. One of the best ones was last year and a big fight with uh, one of the fastest drivers here. It's Dries Van Tor. I used to race and win the, the championship with his older brother, Lorenz. But uh, with Dries last year we had a big fight for more than a half an hour for the third position at Paul Ricard 1000K. And I knew he was tough to beat. We had a great fight, but what I liked the most is the, the way we could talk in the paddock afterwards uh, because it was a fair fight, fair attack. And uh, even one or two races after, he was still coming to me and talking to me about this nice fight. So this is the spirit I like in this uh, Blanc Vangetti series. Again, finally, Stefani is back and is here ready to fight. Been a part of Blanc GT racing since the very beginning. It's great that he's back at Brown's Hatch and let's hope he's on the grid for many more years to come. Keep going racing and just stay like you are. Will be another year where we have a strong challenge to, together. Ciao, Steph. <laughs>